Bible teaches us that we we should cry when babies enter into this evil world. And it says that when we rejoice in the Lord and leave this world, we should rejoice. Because we have lived see it's, it's easy to celebrate a life when you know that they live for the Lord. So we should be excited. Now, saints, y'all should not be afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And just because we're at a celebration of life, don't let nobody hinder your praise. The old folks said this may be the last time. Somebody say reflection time. Reflection. And reflections are just a reflection. They are not a sermon. They are not a short story or a long story. They are reflections. We want to respect the family and make sure those of you who come to bring reflections that you honor what the family has placed in the program, it says limited to two minutes. Well, in my case, you're limited to a minute and 49 seconds. Because it's going to take you about 11 seconds to get up here. Two minutes. That's all. If you really want to say something uh, extensive to the family, we are so blessed that God has blessed us. You can email them. You can text them. You can send them a TikTok. But there is a eulogist who is from the family who would like to have an opportunity and time to give the eulogy. We also want to be respectful of the funeral services who have to get to the cemetery in a decent amount of time. Amen? So if you would like to make reflections, we ask that you would stand over to my right and you can come to this podium here and offer up your reflections um, to the family. Say that which needs to be said or that which you want to say. You're welcome as well as the family to come at this time. Obviously, if it is family, especially immediate family, you have a little bit more time to share. But if you would like to give reflections, you're welcome to stand up, come, come, come now and say what you would like to say. Stand over here on the right if there are more than two, three, four, five of you. Come on up. You can come to this podium right here. I believe that mic is still on. Greetings, my web family. So to the webs, I am little Tammy. We go way back. My grandmother and Alice Webb, we know her as Aunt Tootie, have had a friendship for, I want to say, 75, 80 plus years. I remember us uh, living on 16th Street. We lived between Eaton Place and William, and the Webbs lived between William and Park Avenue. And I remember I had my first car, this little 1987 Chevy Caprice Classic that when I would drive it, it would get a little warm, it would smell like somebody had burnt some pancakes and some syrup. And I had needed some brakes. So I was like, oh, I don't have no money for brakes. I was a college student. So my grandmother said, well, why don't you see if Leslie could fix it? So I drove my little car, my little putt putt hoopty, whatever you want to call it, down the street. And Mr. Webb fixed my brakes. And he told me what was wrong with the car and don't waste money on fixing other things because it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> I mean, he was a sweet man. Um, he and his wife, would, when my grandmother was staying with me, would just pop up at the house. You see the two of them walking, shuffling along, the two littlest people coming up the driveway. My kids were like, oh, the webs are here. 
So I'm also here not only as a close friend of the family, but I feel like I'm a part of the family. And also the councilwoman of the city of East Orange. So I bring to the family condolences on behalf of the city of East Orange, Mayor Ted R. Green, and the entire East Orange City Council. I did hand the family a letter that someone will probably read a little bit later um, during the services. But we just want you all to know that our heartfelt condolences and sympathy goes to all of you. Stephen, Charles, Joanne, all of the grandchildren. Matter of fact, I babysit um, Stephen's oldest and Joanne's oldest. That's how I used to make some of my money during the summertime babysitting. So I changed y'all diapers. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, uh, again, prayers to the family. Um, Mr. Red will truly, truly be missed. Amen, amen. Is there another? Is there another?
from the Office of City Council. Dear Mr. Webb, it is with great sadness that we learned of the recent passing of your father, Leslie Leon McDonald Webb. There's not much one can express to you at a time like this, but we want to take this opportunity to send our deepest sympathy and condolences. We hope you can find some comfort in your special memories and in the thoughts of many happy years you shared with him. Although the light of this shining star has dimmed, Leslie's legacy will blaze on forever, serving as a source of joy, comfort, and inspiration to those fortunate enough to have known him. May the memories of your father sustain and strengthen you as you navigate the difficult days ahead. Please know that you and your family are in our hearts and prayers. Sincerely, Vernon Pullins Jr., City Council Chairman. From the Fellowship Baptist Church, to Pastor Stephen and First Lady Webb, Mother Alice Webb, the New Life Christian Church family, and the extended family of the late Deacon Leslie Leon McDonald Webb. There's an open gate at the end of the road through each through which each must go alone, and there in light we cannot see our Father claims his own. Beyond the gate, your loved one finds happiness and rest. And there is comfort in the thought that a loving God knows best. When one has given up himself, bestowing freely and unselfishly his love, influence, and time for the betterment of his family, the lives of others, and the community in which they live, death is momentous. Please allow us to offer our most sincere condolences and our deepest respect in the loss of your beloved Deacon Brad. Losing someone is never easy, and though his presence will be greatly missed, what a wonderful comfort we have in knowing that he lived, that he believed in God and is now resting safely in his arms. Today we share as you mourn your loss and celebrate Deacon Webb's remarkable life. The measure of a life is not in its duration, but in its donation. When we think of Deacon Webb's donations, what he contributed, what he invested, we have much to be thankful for. Consider the investments of love and devotion he made to his beloved wife for over 67 years. Consider the investments of godliness and nurturing he made into the lives of his children and grandchildren. Consider the investments of support of his son's ministry to the members of the church and to all those to whom he endears himself. We extend our heartfelt sympathy and commend you to the divine comfort of who can sustain, encourage, and strengthen all who call upon him. Your new church family loves you, and we are praying for you to have the grace and strength to endure the journey ahead of you. Be at peace, dear family, in the everlasting love of the Lord. Sympathetically submitted, Reverend Alphonsus and Lady Dr. Gwendolyn Platt, officers and members of Mia Fellowship, Baptist Church, Pat Session, Church Club. Amen. From New Beginnings Faith Fellowship Ministry, to the family of the late Deacon Leslie Webb, Jesus said unto him, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though we were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. Whereas it pleased the Heavenly Father to call from the mortal life we can let me live, and whereas our hearts are sad and, and the shadow has been cast upon your family since his passing, and he is no longer in his accustomed place, we know that Deacon Webb has found a resting place of eternal peace and joy in the arms of Jesus. And whereas Scripture has determined that weeping may endure for a night, but joy does come in the morning. A flower has been plucked from the garden of life, but shall continue to blossom with Jesus. Deacon Webb was a husband, father, grandfather, and a friend to many, and he will be missed. We, the members of New Beginnings Faith Fellowship Ministry, express to the Webb family our heartfelt sympathy and the earnest.
just pray that God will sustain you in the time of sorrow. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy does come in the morning. For earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. May God's richest anointing be upon each of you. And know that the New Beginnings Faith Fellowship Ministry is praying for you and with you. Be it resolved that this resolution be given to the family, humbly submitted, New Beginnings Faith Fellowship Ministry, Sister Marsha Graves, Church Clerk, and Reverend Allen Lawrence Elder, to Henry Lawrence, Pastor, and First Lady. Resolution To Mother Webb and the Webb family. We, the New Life Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, extend our deepest sympathy and heartfelt praise in the transition of Leslie Dion McDonald Webb. Our loss, in heaven, our loss is heaven's gain. Our prayers are with you, and our shoulders are here for you to lean on. We encourage you to look to the Lord at this hour, for God will be your rock and your fortress. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble, yet we will wait on the Lord. There is a river, the strength whereof shall make glad in the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Be it resolved that we can let the be we remember in the hearts and minds of everyone he touched, because of the great work he has done as a pillar in his church and patriarch of his family, Deacon Webb touched many lives with his kind heart and strength. He is further resolved that the life is but a vapor, that a period fall a little while and then vanishes away. However, we realize that we live now to live again, for life is too good and painful. As the body breaks with the weights of the years, the stronger world. Finally, be it resolved that the Leslie Webb has a heavenly home and a spiritual body that is free of pain and will know no death. He is in a place where the wicked will cease from trembling and the weary will be at rest. We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Respectfully submitted New Life Christian Church Disciples of Christ, Elder and Lisa Grissom, Executive Minister, Trustee Kevin C. Clark, Chairman of the Trustee Board. A copy of this resolution will be presented to the family, and a copy will be filed with our church. Amen. Your dad's love, his laugh, the memories you made, the life lessons that will always stay with you, these are his gifts to you. Hoping that the good memories and stories of your dad will bring some comfort as you find your way through this difficult time. With sympathy, praise from the Davis Donaldson family. The heart is never ready. The time is never right to say goodbye. Thinking of you with deepest sympathy and hoping each new tomorrow will bring you comfort and peace. Love, Felicia, Brandon, and Chum. In the loss of your father, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion, Isaiah 49, verse 13. Dear Charles, times like these will bring a flood of memories of so many times shared. We feel the fresh, the lasting impact of a Bible's legacy. Praying you'll know God's comfort and peace and that memories will keep your Bible close with sympathy. Take time to process and mourn because we don't mourn like those who have no hope. Your dad lives on in his children and you will see him again. With love, the Clegg's Reverend, Reverend Robert and Lady Stephanie Clegg. Amen. And now the reading of the obituary. 
celebrating the life of Leslie Dion McDonald's wedding. Deacon Leslie Leon McDonald Webb was born to the late Charles and Louisa Webb on November 3, 1929, in Devonshire, Bermuda. As the last surviving member of 13 siblings, Leslie transitioned peacefully on June 27, 2024, surrounded by his family and loved ones. He was educated in the Bermuda school system and received formal training as an auto mechanic apprentice at Masters Limited, where he learned to work on British, Italian, and German automobiles, eventually becoming a master mechanic. In 1952, Leslie migrated to the United States and settled in Brooklyn, New York. He quickly found employment with B. Craig, a foreign car dealership in East Orange, New Jersey. On July 4, 1955, Leslie, Leslie met Alice Chowdhury, the love of his life at a cookout in Montclair, New Jersey. He often said she was the prettiest woman he had ever seen, and they married a year later on September 30th, 1956. Their union was blessed with three children, Joanne Laurie, Charles Idris, and Stephen Monier. They purchased a home at 75 North 16th Street, East Orange, New Jersey, 07017. Where they, raised, where they raised their family. In 1961, Leslie opened his own business, Les Foreign Car Service, initially in East Orange before moving to Montclair, New Jersey. As a master mechanic, Leslie was known for his expertise in foreign cars, with dealerships across the Garden State bringing their vehicles to him for repair. He had a reputation for being able to any make or model of foreign cars, he was a, he was the go-to man. Outside of his work, Leslie was an avid reader with a deep understanding of politics and current events. He and Alice traveled extensively, taking yearly vacations together. Their home was always open to family and friends, and Leslie was known for his hospitality, always offering a good meal to his guests. In 2001, Leslie accepted the Lord as his personal savior and was baptized. He became a founding member of Blue Life Christian Church, where he served as a deacon and was actively involved in church activities. He raised his children in faith and played a significant role in the lives of his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Leslie and Alice enjoyed a remarkable marriage lasting over 68 years, during which he often said, he had married the most beautiful woman in the world, who was also his best friend. Leslie needs to cherish his memory, his beloved wife, Alice Webb, three children, Joanne Lori Webb William, Dr. Charles Idris Webb, Kevin Clark, and Reverend Dr. Stephen Molia Webb, Sandra Webb. Grandchildren, Jamila Virgil, Dr. Jermaine Monk, Jacqueline Webb, Jasmine Williams, Anthony Webb, Tiffany Webb, Daniel Webb, and Stephanie Webb. Five great-grandchildren, Brad, Elia, Ezra Webb, Chase Virgil, and Anthony Webb Jr. He also leaves behind his adopted family, the Gary Gamble, Clark Thompson, Nicole Burns, and a host of nieces, nephews, and his church family. Acknowledgement. The family of Leslie Leon McDonald Webb acknowledges with sincere appreciation every thought and act of kindness expressed to us during this time of bereavement. We will always keep you in our prayers, and may God continue to bless you. Amen. At this time, we prepare ourselves for a musical selection coming from Charmaine Broadbell. And after the musical selection, then we will hear the eulogy from the pastor of the New Life Christian Church, Reverend Dr. Stephen Monair Webb.
to the family and friends of Papa Willie. Be encouraged that even in this, God is your keeper and your strength. And if you keep your eyes on him, yeah. he will be your help. Amen.
the Lord. Amen. Certainly that is my testimony. Amen. We give God honor and glory even at this hour. Amen. Certainly to Reverend Clergy that has assembled. To all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ and in creation. To my family. Amen. To Mother Webb. Amen. The matriarch of our family. My elder sister and my, you don't look like it, but my elder brought the child. <laughs> My nieces, my nephews, my children, my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, amen, to my Bermuda family, to everybody that has assembled today. People say, well, where, how you doing? I said, it is well. Yeah. Oh, it is well. With my soul. Yeah. And certainly our hearts are heavy, but it is well with my soul. Yeah. Pops lived a, a good life. Amen. Amen. Some have said that this is the year of the father. Amen. And sometimes it was like I didn't want to talk about my father because it's like I'm bragging. Or, but I had a good dad. Come on, man. I knew where he was. Every day, every day, every day. Amen. Amen. And I would come home and uh, he'd be sitting at the kitchen table. Amen. So I, I had a wonderful father. Amen. And certainly uh, God blessed him for 94 years. Amen. Amen. I want to thank our Officiant, amen. I'm my brother beloved, amen. Pastor Platinum, Neil Fellowship, amen. My sister church. Amen. I feel at home, amen. Amen, amen. So we thank God for uh, all the Neil Fellowship family that are here serving with us, amen. Amen. So um, I see my boss in the back, so I ain't got to go to work today, so I'll be finished when I'm done. <laughs> We finished when I'm done. Amen. Amen. I want to use uh, for a scripture of comfort at this time Psalm number 121. The 121st division of Psalm. And it reads on this wise I will lift up my eyes. To the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth. Even forevermore. I want to use for a thought as uh, we look at the life of the legacy of Pops, Deacon Webb. I, I want to use for a thought, I put it all in his hand. Yeah. Come on, is that all right? I put yeah. it all in his hands. Come on, let's pray. God, we come to the moment of proclamation. We thank you for the life, the legacy of daddy. 
God, we love him, but you love him best. We understand, Lord, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. God, we know nothing out of the ordinary has happened. We understand that we don't live to die, but we die that we may live again. So God, we have we are confident that we will see him again. Comfort the mother and comfort the family right now. Hold them, oh God, comfort them like a warm blanket on a on a cold night. Now and in the coming days. Now Lord, breathe on this word. We need your help. This is our prayer to match this, the strong and the saving name of Jesus. And the people of God said, Amen. You, you know, when I reflected on the life, the legacy of Leslie Leon McDonald Webb and the life that he lived, uh, aside from being a devoted and loving husband, a provider for close to 70 years to our mother, aside from being an outstanding father and an outstanding grandfather and great grandfather, deacon of the church, one of the most impre- one of the most impressive impressive features of my daddy were his hands. Yeah. His hands were were strong, brother John. They, they they were strong and they were capable hands. And his hands were skillful and. And, and most of all, they were willing to work. Uh, I just said something. They, they were willing to work. You, you got folks today that don't want it. Okay. So, so as children, uh, we depended on those hands. Uh, his hands put bikes together and uh, could open any jar. That, uh, he could fix anything, repair anything that was broken in the house. In our minds, his hands could fix anything. Uh, we heard Tammy talking about fixing cars. Don't, don't talk about cars. There wasn't no car he couldn't fix. <laughs> Forget about that. There was no car that, that, that he wouldn't take on the challenge. No problem he couldn't diagnose. Each of us, each of the children got their own car. We, we, we got our first car. Joanne had a lime green 1968 Mustang. Lime green. Each of us tore up one of our daddy's cars. His quiet strength was personified in his hand. The strength of his hands. He, he didn't have a lot to say, but he showed us how to do it. He didn't tell us how to do it. He showed us that, he told us that we could do it, and we did do it. So I, I want to look at this text for comfort. Uh, I, I encourage you uh, to put it all in his hands. That, that, that's the sermon right there, but, but let me push my case. Uh, this is one of 15 psalms, Clegg, they're called Psalms of Ascent. Uh, when when, when, when uh, the pilgrims would go to Jerusalem and make their annual pilgrimage, they would sing these songs as they traveled. Uh, travel could be tricky and treacherous, dangerous and deadly, and downright unsafe, black. Uh, walking up to Jerusalem. And so they had, they, had, they had a playlist. You, you know when you travel, you need a playlist. And, and so they would sing these songs as they ascended the mountain. But the main idea of the song is that uh, we, as we travel through this life, the Lord will protect us, keep us, and preserve us always. Uh, uh, he, my dad understood that God was his protector, provider, and preserver. Uh, look at verse 1. And, uh, he said, I will lift my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Now, when we look at that eight clause uh, in that particular uh, verse, we want to act like it's a declarative statement. But it's not. It's an interrogative. It, it, it's a question. It, it could really be written like, where does my help come from? And, and the rhetorical 
for question and answer, my help comes from the Lord. Uh, emphasizing the Lord's role as ultimate protector and provider. Lastly, Webb understood that his help came from the Lord. Uh, I, I was sharing with my sister, I never saw daddy worry. Anger? Yes. <laughs> Mad? Yes. Worry? No. So the reference to God as creator of heaven and earth underscores the power and authority of all creation. Reinforcing the ability of God's help. All I'm trying to say is there's nothing that God can't do if you put it in his hands. Uh, he will not allow your foot to be moved. Uh, he who keeps you will not slumber, but behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Uh, this is a, an assurance that, 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 that God uh, is always amidst, always working on our behalf, under his safety, under his guided protection, under his uh, I, 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 He always sees, never slumbers, never sleeps. Uh, our, our foot will not be moved. That means it's a firm foundation. Uh, it's not to say that trouble will not come because that's a lie. In this world, we will have tribulation. Uh, but, but, but tribulation and trials will come. Leslie Webb, over 94 years, have seen a whole lot. Oh yeah, he's seen a whole lot uh, being born in, in the 20s and coming up through the 30s. and before. He saw a whole lot. Things that we could have never even imagined he had to endure. Life to come at you like a flood. But you won't be moved. Uh, it, it, it's really translated your foot won't slip. And your, your foot won't slip. Y'all ain't getting this thing. Right. Your foot won't slip. I, I like to watch basketball. Uh, but look, 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 look. Uh, LeBron and Bronny, they, they're about to make history. Uh, right? The father and son duo on the same team. And be, now, now, I like to watch basketball. I could play a little bit, don't you know? <laughs> Put it this way, I'm on the if, if I'm in bounds, I'm in range. <laughs> uh, but in basketball, you can move as long as you dribble. But once you pick the ball up, you've got to do what's called a pivot. Now, I can pivot. it. All day long. I can't put the ball down because then I'll be trapped. But I can pivot on that pivot foot. Uh, that doesn't mean the game has stopped. Uh, that doesn't mean they're not trying to get the ball from me. But that means I'm pivoting. And I'm trying to say, God, I will make sure your pivot foot will not slip. Oh, they 
say I wish I could sing? Well, my two wishes. One would be six foot. Let's go. I'm and then, this is where I want to hang out. Oh, uh, the Lord is our keeper. Oh, uh, the Lord was dad's keeper. Uh, in the Hebrew, the word keeper means guardian, which means protector, a uh, caregiver. God was a shade to his right hand. Uh, you do know what shade is. I'm not talking about double shade. Oh, uh, but shade is that comfort. Uh, just because uh, it can still be a hundred degrees outside. There's still heat outside. But if you're in the shade, you're going to be all right. hundred degrees won't bother you. Uh, because you're in the shade. That means God will cover you in the midst of the heat. In the midst of all
But daddy would wake up. When I got to that point in the sermon, he might have dozed off to the introduction. He might have dozed off to the exegesis. But when I got to the part, he didn't know it. Daddy stood up. But I asked him to know You know it, don't you? One of my last memories of that. Mother would sit by his bedside. And they were holding hands. She continued to put it all in his hands. As daddy put it all in God's hands. Family put it all in his hands. Our heart is heavy. But daddy has transitioned. My soul is at peace. Live the good life. They were together 70 years. Some people can't stay together 70 days. Now and in the coming days when the phone calls stop coming, when all the cards have been read, in the midnight hour, we're going to put it all put it all in his hand. Daddy, we love you, but God loves you best. And we will see you again. You just beat us home. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place. Now, mother would say, you better preach another sermon. No. Mother would say, sit down. But he said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I go, ye may be also. He said, in my daddy's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. We got a room up there. Yeah. We got a table that he's sitting in. For the table has been spread. And I can see Papa Webb sitting at that kitchen table. Saying, come on in. The table has been spread. We love you. God loves you. Come on, put it all, put it all in his hands.
If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, this is your opportunity to accept Him. None of us are guaranteed to make it to 90, more or less 94. Some of us are not guaranteed to make it to tomorrow. But I would be remiss to come behind my brother who preached that word. And then those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, be lost. So I'm inviting you to Christ. I don't have to open up the doors of the church and the words of Dr. Ware. The doors have been open for over 2,000 years. It's up to you to come. We have ministers here. We have deacons here who are standing in the gap who can pray for you. And this is not for my church. This is for the kingdom. Because when we leave here, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know when this is going to be our opportunity to lay before the Lord. But one thing I'm assured of, in the midst of all my trials and tribulations, in the midst of the sins that I've had to repent for, I do know Jesus Christ is my Savior. So I invite you to get to know Him. If you don't know Him, I'm not even going to challenge you to even come up here. The God that I serve will meet you standing right where you are. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that He is your Lord and Savior. And it's done. It doesn't matter where you've been, what you've been through. Don't matter who you are, who you say you are, who, who you even identify as. None of that doesn't matter. God wants to know what's in your heart. And it's time for us, if we're going to change this world, if we're going to be a, an immediate impact on this world, uh, uh, Papa Webb knew he was well read. He understood the politics that we're dealing with right now. And some of us are running around scared because of a debate. What happened? I'm not scared. I'm trusting in God that everything is going to be all right. Accept him in your life right now. Allow him to be Lord in your life and to be first in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything shall be added unto you. All you got to do is delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of his heart. I'm telling you this and I'm sharing this with you on behalf of the New Life Christian Church. On behalf of the Web family. Get to know him. And then you don't have to worry at all. You can just praise him anyhow. Come on, if you believe in God tonight and help somebody feel good, put your hands together because somebody... I don't know who it is.